I was about 14 or 15. And I saw the most amazing things I saw. The jazz at the Philharmonic at the Orpheum with Ella Fitzgerald and the Count Basie Orchestra and Oscar Peterson Trio. I saw the Marsalis Brothers, Benny Goodman's band with Buddy Tate, Dave Brubeck and his sons, Miles Davis played. Great, but I would great. say in my early years in Vancouver, the, the most influential group happening was Hugh Fraser's Vancouver Ensemble. Tell us a little bit about how you came to be a part of the Lounge Lizards. That was a pretty groundbreaking jazz ensemble. John Lurie eventually called the, his music company Strange and Beautiful, which I think is what the Lounge Lizards music is. <laughs> And then I walked to the bar and I overheard John saying, um, this band really stinks, but I like the saxophone player. I think he just saw me as a type of person, like my personality, he liked me. We became very close. He kicked the Nari 20 off the stage in that, at that concert in Greece. And we, I thought, well, why is, he, why is he always a bad boy? You know, he's like a real rock star. He, liked, he, had, the, he had a temper, but I think a lot of it was just that he wanted to be you know, uh, live up to his reputation of maybe being, I guess he was quite unpredictable. He also put the promoter in a headlock on the bus after oh, that. Oh, wow. <laughs> he wouldn't have done that to you though, Fiona. <laughs>